Hi everyone. Today I'd like to walk through a quick, simple migration from COBOL to a Python application using iSpire Toolkit. You can give it a try by requesting a free demo license, or learn more by following the links to the iSpire website in the description. As an example, we have chosen four COBOL programs that include copy files. The first program is the main one. It connects to the database, which can be restored from the DB script.sql file. The program calls the other three programs in turn. The first program creates a table and inserts data into it. The second one performs computations to demonstrate how statements are converted from COBOL. The last one deletes the table from the database and reports to the console that the table is deleted. Now let's start our COBOL to Python application migration walkthrough with iSpire NGL Fly Wizard, the tool included in the iSpire toolkit, and designed to manage the application conversion process. First I need to provide the directory where the configuration files will be located. Further I choose the source type. In my case it's an application. In addition, the tool can migrate the database scripts and embedded SQL. I need to choose COBOL as the source technology, but our tool can also convert other languages, for example, Delphi or PowerBuilder. Then I choose the COBOL programs that I want to convert. At this step, I don't need to select the copy files, they will be automatically inserted during the conversion. Following that, on the source options page it's necessary to specify information about the database used. For this migration I don't specify data, since the database doesn't change. On the target options page, I specify characteristics of the desired target application. In my case it's application, console, Python. We support conversion to other programming languages such as c Java, React, etc. After that, I choose the directory where all the generated conversion results will be placed. If you encounter any errors during the migration process, you need to rerun the migration with the run in trace mode property and get the .trc file. Please send us this file to analyze your errors. Now on the summary page you can see all the conversion settings that have been adjusted, as well as the command line at the bottom which will be launched by the wizard with the selected parameters. By clicking the Edit Options File button, I see the SQL ways.ini file with the selected parameters that I can change. On the next page, I click Start Conversion to launch the migration. If you find this video helpful, support us by clicking subscribe, like, and share this video with people who might benefit from it when migrating COBOL to Python. The migration is complete. It was quite fast, in my case it took only 11 seconds. At the final stage, I can view the summary report on the source files. After clicking the finish button, the migration configuration will be saved for future launches, and NGL Fly Wizard will be closed. The migration results have a file structure. Additional classes have been created here, in other words, these are additional files necessary for the converted code to function. Structures declared in COBOL programs have been moved to separate files. Also here are the actual programs converted to Python. Opening the main program code, I can see that its logic is equivalent to the source one. The README file contains basic instructions on how to work with the migration result. iSpire Toolkit is a fast, easy and reliable way to migrate with minimal downtime to Python. Now it's your turn to give it a try. 
Thanks for watching.